Vitamin D is crucial for maintaining various bodily functions, particularly for bone health and immune support. It is naturally produced in the skin when exposed to sunlight, and can also be ingested through food sources and supplements. Despite its benefits, it's important to understand that vitamin D can interact with certain medications, leading to either reduced effectiveness of the medication or potential side effects. Many people are unaware that the supplements they take could potentially interact with their prescribed medications. Vitamin D is no exception. These interactions can complicate treatment regimens and affect health outcomes. Knowing which medications can interact with vitamin D will allow you to take proactive measures to ensure both your medications and your vitamin D supplements are working as they should. Understanding these interactions is essential for anyone who is considering taking vitamin D supplements, particularly if they are already on medication. In this video, I'll reveal 7 medications you should never combine with vitamin D, explain why these interactions happen, and show you safer ways to manage your health without unwanted complications. So, if you're taking vitamin D or thinking about adding it to your routine, stay tuned. This could save you from a dangerous mistake. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. Now, let's begin with number one, cholesterol-lowering drugs. Cholesterol-lowering drugs, especially statins, which include atorvastatin, simvastatin, and levastatin, are widely prescribed to help manage high cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. These medications function by inhibiting an enzyme involved in the production of cholesterol in the liver, thereby lowering the total cholesterol levels in the blood. However, when vitamin D is introduced into the mix, it can have significant effects on how these drugs operate. Some scientific studies indicate that vitamin D may interact with the metabolic pathways that statins use, potentially altering their effectiveness. This is particularly important because the concentration of statins in your bloodstream can influence how well they manage cholesterol levels. For example, if vitamin D alters the metabolism of statins, one possible interaction involves the liver enzymes that metabolize both vitamin D and statins. Cytochrome P450 enzymes, specifically CYP3A4, play a crucial role in the metabolism of many statins and also participate in the conversion of vitamin D into its active form. When both substances are metabolized by the same enzymes, there can be competition that might affect the breakdown and efficacy of either or both. It's essential to approach this interaction with caution. Rather than self-adjusting your medication or supplement dosages, it's crucial to consult your doctor or pharmacist. They can provide tailored advice based on your specific health needs and the medications you are currently taking. Number 2. Diuretics Diuretics, often known as water pills, are commonly used to treat conditions like hypertension, heart failure, and edema by promoting the excretion of excess fluid through increased urine production. While effective for these purposes, diuretics can interact with vitamin D, leading to potential complications that warrant careful consideration. One of the primary concerns with combining diuretics and vitamin D is the risk of electrolyte imbalances, particularly involving calcium. Diuretics can affect how the body handles calcium, which is closely linked to vitamin D levels. For instance, thiazide diuretics, a common type of diuretic like hydrochlorothiazide and chlorothiazide, can decrease the excretion of calcium in the urine, leading to higher calcium levels in the blood. When vitamin D is also present in higher amounts, this effect can be magnified, increasing the risk of hypercalcemia. Hypercalcemia is a condition characterized by elevated calcium levels in the blood, which can cause various symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, weakness, and confusion. In severe cases, it can lead to kidney stones or impaired kidney function. Given vitamin D's role in calcium absorption and bone health, the interaction with loop diuretics can complicate maintaining optimal bone density. To manage these risks, healthcare providers often recommend regular monitoring of electrolyte levels, including calcium, in patients taking both diuretics and vitamin D supplements. Additionally, the timing of vitamin D supplementation can play a crucial role in minimizing interactions with diuretics. For example, 
Taking vitamin D supplements at a different time of day than diuretic medication can help reduce the likelihood of significant changes in calcium levels. Number 3. Orlistat Orlistat, also called Xenical, is a popular weight loss medication designed to help individuals manage their weight by blocking the absorption of dietary fats in the intestine. This mechanism of action makes Orlistat effective for weight loss but it also presents some challenges when it comes to the absorption of essential nutrients, particularly fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin D. Fat-soluble vitamins are nutrients that dissolve in fat and are stored in the body's fatty tissue and liver. These include vitamins A, D, E, and K. When Orlistat blocks the absorption of dietary fats, it also inadvertently reduces the absorption of these vitamins. Vitamin D is crucial for many bodily functions, especially bone health and immune system support. A deficiency in vitamin D can lead to weakened bones, increased susceptibility to infections, and other health issues. One of the main concerns with Orlistat is its impact on the absorption efficiency of vitamin D. Since vitamin D is fat-soluble, its absorption in the intestine relies on the presence of dietary fat. Orlistat works by inhibiting the action of lipase, an enzyme that breaks down fats in the diet. Without the breakdown of fats, vitamin D cannot be properly absorbed, leading to potential deficiencies. Individuals taking Orlistat may experience a significant reduction in their vitamin D levels over time. This is particularly concerning for those who already have low levels of vitamin D or are at risk for conditions like osteoporosis, where bone health is paramount. Inadequate vitamin D can compromise bone density and increase the risk of fractures. To counteract this, it is often recommended that individuals on Orlistat take vitamin D supplements to ensure they maintain adequate levels. However, timing is crucial. Taking vitamin D supplements at the same time as Orlistat may not be effective, as the medication will still block the absorption. It is generally advised to take vitamin D supplements at a different time of day, preferably with a meal that contains some fat to aid in absorption. This can help optimize the effectiveness of the supplement and ensure that the body receives the necessary amount of vitamin D. Number 4. Steroids Steroid medications are widely prescribed to manage various inflammatory and autoimmune conditions. While effective in reducing inflammation and suppressing the immune response, these drugs can significantly impact how the body processes vitamin D. The interaction between steroids and vitamin D is particularly important to understand because it can lead to decreased bone density and compromised immune function. Prolonged use of steroids can interfere with the body's ability to metabolize vitamin D. Steroids can inhibit the conversion of vitamin D into its active form, which is essential for calcium absorption and bone health. This reduced efficiency in metabolizing vitamin D can result in lower levels of the vitamin in the bloodstream, affecting overall health. One of the major concerns with long-term steroid use is its impact on bone health. Steroids can decrease calcium absorption in the intestines and increase calcium excretion through the kidneys. Combined with the reduced conversion of vitamin D to its active form, these effects can lead to weakened bones and an increased risk of osteoporosis and fractures. People who are on long-term steroid therapy often require higher levels of vitamin D to counteract these negative effects and maintain bone health. Another issue to consider is that steroids can suppress the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections. Adequate vitamin D levels are crucial for maintaining a healthy immune response. By interfering with vitamin D metabolism, steroids can further weaken the immune system, making it harder for the body to fight off infections. Number 5. Calcium Channel Blockers Calcium channel blockers like nifedipine, verapamil, diltiazem, and amlodipine are heart medications prescribed to treat conditions like hypertension and arrhythmias. These medications work by relaxing blood vessels and reducing heart rate, which ultimately improves blood flow. However, combining calcium channel blockers with vitamin D can impact how these heart medications function. Vitamin D plays a role in calcium regulation, and its interaction with calcium channel blockers can alter the intended effects of the medication. For instance, Vitamin D enhances calcium absorption in the gut, which could potentially lead to elevated calcium levels in the blood when taken in conjunction with calcium channel blockers. This altered calcium balance may interfere with the medication's ability to manage blood pressure 
and heart rate effectively. One specific concern is that elevated calcium levels might exacerbate some of the side effects commonly associated with calcium channel blockers. These side effects include dizziness, swelling of the lower extremities, and an increased heart rate. When combined with higher calcium levels due to vitamin D supplementation, these issues can become more pronounced, making it critical for individuals on these heart medications to closely monitor their vitamin D intake. Additionally, there is the potential for changes in blood pressure regulation. Calcium channel blockers are designed to lower blood pressure, but the interaction with vitamin D could make this effect less predictable. In some cases, it might lead to either unexpectedly low or insufficiently controlled blood pressure, depending on individual responses to the combination of these substances. For those taking calcium channel blockers, it's vital to engage in a thorough discussion with a healthcare provider before starting or altering vitamin D supplementation. This is particularly important because the interaction between vitamin D and calcium channel blockers can vary depending on the specific medication and individual patient factors, such as overall health, existing calcium levels, and the presence of other medical conditions. Number 6. Seizure Medications Seizure medications, commonly referred to as anticonvulsants, are essential for managing conditions such as epilepsy. Despite their effectiveness in controlling seizures, these medications can disrupt how your body processes vitamin D. Certain anticonvulsants, including phenytoin and phenobarbital, can accelerate the metabolism of vitamin D, resulting in reduced levels in the body. This reduction can have long-term effects, particularly concerning bone health, as vitamin D is crucial for maintaining bone density and reducing the risk of fractures. The interaction between seizure medications and vitamin D stems from the induction of specific liver enzymes. These enzymes increase the breakdown of vitamin D, which subsequently decreases its availability in the body. This mechanism poses a significant concern for individuals who are on long-term anticonvulsant therapy, as the chronic reduction in vitamin D levels can lead to weakened bones and an elevated risk of fractures over time. Additionally, low vitamin D levels can affect more than just bone health. Vitamin D is also important for muscle function and overall immune health. Therefore, individuals on seizure medications might experience broader health implications due to diminished vitamin D levels. For those taking seizure medications, it is crucial to regularly monitor vitamin D levels through blood tests. Healthcare providers can then recommend appropriate supplementation if needed. The goal is to ensure that vitamin D levels remain within a healthy range to counteract the enhanced metabolism caused by anticonvulsants. Dietary intake of vitamin D can also be optimized to help mitigate these effects. Consuming foods rich in vitamin D, such as fatty fish, fortified dairy products, and egg yolks, can support maintaining adequate levels. Lastly, laxatives. Laxatives are often used to manage constipation and ensure regular bowel movements, but their overuse or long-term use can interfere with how your body absorbs nutrients, including vitamin D. This issue arises because laxatives can accelerate the transit time of food through the digestive tract, leaving less time for vitamin D and other nutrients to be absorbed. One of the main concerns with chronic laxative use is the potential for malabsorption. When the digestive process is hastened, the body doesn't have sufficient time to absorb fat-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin D, effectively. This can lead to a deficiency over time, impacting bone health and immune function. Additionally, regular use of certain types of laxatives, particularly stimulant laxatives, can lead to dependency. The bowels may become reliant on these medications to stimulate movement, which can exacerbate constipation issues in the long term. This cycle of dependency and overuse further complicates the absorption of vital nutrients. Electrolyte imbalances and dehydration are other risks associated with excessive laxative use. Dehydration can impair overall nutrient absorption and weaken the body's ability to maintain healthy vitamin D levels. These imbalances can also cause muscle cramps, fatigue, and more serious health issues if left unaddressed. For those who frequently use laxatives, it's crucial to consider alternative methods to manage constipation. Dietary changes, such as increasing fiber intake through fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can promote regular bowel movements naturally. Adequate hydration is also essential. Drinking plenty of water helps keep the digestive system functioning smoothly. In conclusion, vitamin D is essential for bone health, immunity, 
and overall well-being, but combining it with certain medications can lead to unwanted interactions. From increasing calcium levels too much to reducing medication effectiveness, these interactions can have serious consequences. Always check with your doctor or pharmacist before adding vitamin D to your routine, especially if you're taking any of the medications mentioned in this video. If you found this information helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more health insights, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Stay informed and take care of your health.